Hi, it's Miss Sarah. I have some new letters for you today. We're gonna learn about the letter R and Robbie Rabbit. And we're gonna learn about the letter S and Sammy Snake. Before we do that, let's blow a bubble. Here we go. Let's blow a bubble. It isn't any trouble. Let it fly up to the sky and then go pop. <gasps> Teeny tiny. Let's blow a bubble. It isn't any trouble. Let it fly up to the sky and then go <gasps> Giant bubbles, are you ready? Let's blow a bubble. It isn't any trouble. Let it fly up to the sky and then go pop. All right. So, the first letter we were talking about was R. Robbie Rabbit's letter R says, er, er, er. And you gotta put your Robbie Rabbit hands on and go, er. Er, er, that's his sound and signal. And the next letter was Sammy Snake. For him, you stick your hand up and you wiggle it forward. So Sammy Snake goes s, s, s. That's his letter sound and signal. And for letter R and S today, I have a book for you called Ricky the Rock That Couldn't roll and here's where the s comes in look at how ricky is feeling because he can't roll his mouth is down he's looking sad he even looks like he has tears in his eyes this is my ricky the rock and i'm hoping maybe after a story you'll want to go out and look around your yard to see if you can find a rock that would be perfect for making your own Ricky the Rock. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Ricky the Rock That Couldn't Roll, written by Jay Mils Milensky and illustrated by Aaron Wozniak. Wozniak. Oh, that's a hard name, Wozniak. Hmm. Let's look inside. Ooh, the title page says Ricky. Look at that big capital R. The rock, there's a lowercase r, that couldn't roll. And another uppercase r. Written by Jay Molensky and illustrated by Aaron Wozniak. Here we go. I love to look at all the faces on the rocks in this book. Over the lake and out past the bay was a green grassy hill where the rocks came to play. They would race to the top to take in the view, then roll their way down the way rocks love to do. Oh, I see one rock. He's not rolling, he's just sitting. There were Kip Pip and Chester and Marvin the Boulder. Ig Ignatius playing, or er, Ignatius played too, though he was much older. And a group called the Pebbles never sat very still, zigzagging their way up and down the hill. Ooh, look at a zigzag. Zigzags go this way, then the opposite direction, then back, then the opposite direction, then back zigzagging their way. Kai was a meteorite and not from this planet. Maya was lava but had but but had <clears throat> but had taken for granite. Stu was the smart one and Parker the clown and grumpy old El Herbert rolled round with a frown. Gabby was sassy and Lessie was flip had flair, Emma was giggly, and Hub had black hair. Oh, look at Hub. Hub up there. 
Here's Parker. He says, how do you make a tissue dance? And Edbert says, seriously? Oh, Leslie knows. She says, you put a little buggy in it. That's a silly joke. Oh, look at all of their rolling they've been doing. But the one trait that seemed to be shared by them all was that every rock there was shaped like a ball. And because they were round, they could easily roll through the grass, past the lake, up and over the knoll. Hmm. They're very good at rolling. They're so happy when they do it. Except for poor Ricky, who sat quietly. You see, Ricky couldn't roll because one side was flat. Oh no, look, this side is round and this side is flat. He's so sad. What part of this is supposed to be fun? Oh, he, he looks kind of grumpy, like he's not enjoying this rolling thing he's supposed to be doing. His friends didn't get it. Come roll, they would chant. So Ricky tried, but replied, I'm sorry, I can't. Oh, poor Ricky. But the rocks were determined. They were sure they could, they could solve Ricky's flat side problem and help him revolve. Ooh, revolve means turn around and roll, huh? So Marvin the Boulder, with his impressive physique, carried Ricky all the way to the top of the hill out to its grassy peak. Then he pushed him down yelling, keep rolling, kid. But Ricky didn't roll. He just kind of slid. He's not going around. He's just sliding down. This feels like a bad idea, says Ricky. Oh my goodness. Well, the rocks weren't done, not by a mile. Surely this next try would get Ricky to smile. They stuck rubber balls all over Ricky, using big globs of glue to get him nice and sticky. They were proud of themselves. This will work! But Ricky still couldn't roll. Now he was just sort of bounced. No good, no good, no! Good, he called. Oh my goodness. When they all pushed and they all pulled, trying everything which and every which way to get Ricky to roll, but by the end of the day, nothing had worked just like Ricky expected. He ended up feeling depressed and dejected. Oh, he doesn't feel like he's part of the group. He feels dejected. It's no use, Ricky sighed. There just isn't a way. So I'll sit off to the side and watch you all play. Oh my goodness, look at his eyes. I see tears inside them again. Poor Ricky, so sad. But this friends, but his friends wouldn't quit. We're here for your brother. We'll get you ro to roll one way or another. So they pondered, ooh, and they thought. Pondered is when you think a little bit. Hmm, and you wonder. Each strained their brain till they looked up and saw that it was starting to rain. And that's when it hit the smart stone named Stu. Eureka, he shouted, I know just what to do. He explained to them how they would get Ricky to tumble. My plan sure is genius. Stu was not humble. <laughs> My plan's genius. It means so smart. Let's see what the so smart genius plan is. What? Look at Ricky. So they carried our hero down the road about a mile to take to the lake where they gathered a mud that they could pile on top of the flat side of Rick. They created a mound, 
that they shaped smooth and sculpted until it was round. Look, there's his round side. Here's his flat side. And they piled up all the mud. Then after the rain with the sun in the sky, they left him to bake till the mud was all dry. They gathered up vines and some colorful feathers. Then they wrapped them all around Rick to help hold him together. Does anyone have a towel? <laughs> he must need to dry off some of his mud. Ricky's looking more round. Let's see if this works. Oh my goodness, look at him with the feather. <laughs> I don't know. How is he feeling? Maybe a little surprised? Let's see. When the last knot was tied and the work was all done, the only step left was for Rick to have fun. They stood back and watched, feeling nervous and tense, as Rick breathed in deep with increasing suspense. <sighs> he moved slowly at first, testing out his new mold. Ooh, he's testing his new round shape. And then, for the first time, oh, he's taking a deep breath, trying it out. For the first time, Rick the Rock rolled. <gasps> it worked, he's rolling. Look at his joyful face, he's so happy. So breathe the ladybug who'd been there from the start, felt a surge of pure joy swelling in her heart. She thought that she, as she watched her friend play on the hill, that there's always a way if there's also a will. And she said to herself as Ricky rolled down the slope, when you're surrounded by love, you are always have hope. What a wonderful idea. When you're surrounded by love, there's always hope. You just need to find a new thing to try. Hmm. They kept hope and now Ricky's round and he can roll. And that's the end. So did you hear that last part on this page? So breathe a ladybug who'd been there from the start felt a surge of pure joy in her heart. So she was super happy. She could feel it in her heart. But she was there from the start. Hmm. Maybe if you have time and you want to watch this book and this video again, you can see if you can find Bree the Ladybug on each of the pictures. She's hiding somewhere on every page, watching her friend Ricky learn how to roll. All right, I hope you enjoyed this story for letter R, right? And Robbie Rabbit's er, er, er sound for Ricky the Rock. Go out, oops, that was loud. Sorry, friends. Go out, find yourself a rock, make your own Ricky the Rock. And if you'd like, watch the video again so you can find Bree hiding on every page. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.